All right, today we're going to show you how to fix your belt uh, without worrying about the AC compressor. A little bit of a trick, and hopefully this will get you back on the road and make it easy to understand as well. So hang on. Let's see what we can do. So you're probably watching this video because your serpentine belt snapped, and then you're, you're saying, hey, why did my serpentine belt snap? So the first thing you want to do after that... Uh, not so fun adventure and your car is probably overheating. Look at all your different pulleys that run off the belt. Check your uh, alternator, uh, AC compressor. You got some idler pulleys in here. Look on both sides. Uh, this video is specifically going to tell you what to do if your AC compressor has locked up. It's the one way on the bottom here and it's below your alternator and there's an idler pulley and then the uh, AC compressor is down here. So what you're going to notice on my installation is my new belt is going around the alternator and it is not going to the AC compressor. Because uh, in this case we need to get the car fixed really quickly. Uh, we don't have a new AC compressor to put in there and we don't have the time to recharge it, do all that stuff super complicated right so in this case we bought a $20 belt and we're back on the road uh, we can fix the AC later not a big deal so here's how you do it here's a diagram of how the belt is normally running on the front of your engine pretty simple and uh, you know really anybody can can put a belt on and then you say, hey, I want to bypass, but the problem is, you know, obviously the original belt is going to be too long, and it's pretty hard to guess what, what size you need. So we're going to take the guesswork out. We're going to bypass these two pulleys, and we're going to connect the belt from here directly over to the alternator and kind of eliminate this section of the belt. So what belt do you need? Well, here's one brand. Um that you can use. I'm going to zoom in because even if you have a different brand, the uh, the main thing is the uh, outer circumference, which is 70 inches, and the thickness or width, I should say. So this is the belt you need. Uh, make sure whatever belt you have, make sure the grooves. On the belt are identical to the belt that uh, that broker came off. In this case, uh, these are six groove belts. So let's see. Okay, that's how you're going to put it on. You're going to connect from here to here. Oh, and there's one more tip I want to give you before I let you go. Uh, a lot of people struggle because they uh, they don't know how the idler pulley works. And always the belt seems like it's too short. It's hard to get on. So if you look way down on this idler pulley, I'm going to try to point to it. There's, there's three little holes in there. That center hole, if you take the end of a 3 8 ratchet or 3 8 breaker bar, stick it in that hole, and then... You can actually push that idler pulley down, and that's going to give you the slack you need to get your new belt on, uh, whether you're doing the original belt or if you're doing this uh, short belt fix. And that's really going to, going to help you out. So one more quick look at the routing. There you can see it coming right around the alternator. Here's the diagram again. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to come off here, go right around the alternator, and get rid of this part. And just in case you missed it, here's a part number that will work for you. And keep in mind, this is 4.2 liter engine. 
if you have a different engine it's going to be a different belt uh, but you could probably take a uh, take a piece of string or something else and get a pretty good estimate take it to the auto parts store and they could probably find a belt for you the way you can bypass that ac and get you back on the road thanks again and please subscribe to our channel thanks